Hi everybody, welcome once again to another Low on Hell's Daily Rambling, me just going over what I've been doing the last past day or so, and as always, I like to always say, not that much, um, just kind of relaxing, because I really got nothing else to do, keep putting applications out for jobs, but there's actually been kind of a downturn in uh, job postings, which I probably want to attribute to like the fiscal year ending for a lot of companies, so I haven't really been seeing that many prospects, so, you know, no good news on that front. Um, I guess I mean, the big main thing I did today was, of course, I beat Aliens vs. Predator. Um, which, all in all, is a decent little game. I mean, I actually enjoyed it. I really like how it's basically three different campaigns going through six or eight different maps. Um, and I do just still have kind of some control issues with, like, the Predator and the Alien, because the Alien can crawl over everywhere. But, I mean, once you adjust and get used to it, it's a nice, decent little game. I really kind of enjoyed it. Um, I do recommend it to basically people that are just looking for a decent action game or people that are just kind of looking for, you know, an extension of the Aliens vs. Predator universe. In which case, it's a deeply little rich universe. Um, I did play actually play a little bit of the online multiplayer of this mode, which actually kind of has a diverse little online uh, modes and uh, everything's kind of balanced. Um, I do wish it kind of had some of the uh, rankings. I mean, it has a ranking and experience system, but you don't really unlock anything out of it. I mean, you unlock different skins, but it would be nice if they had different classes and stuff that you could play online. Um, and it is really cool online, too, because, I mean, you have three different you know, species, three different types of uh, races that play all differently, and you can really hone on which one you do well. I mean, one doesn't really outweigh the other. Uh, I Probably, if anything, I would say the Marine, because that's the most standard affair, and he always has the motion sensor. Um... Uh, the game also, too, I mean, like I said, the story is really good, and it definitely leaves itself open for, like, a sequel. Kind of like, oh, we're going to go to this place next. But at least it still ends the story of that. It doesn't leave it ham-handed open to where you're like, oh, well, that doesn't solve anything. I mean, the game definitely has a beginning, middle, and the end. And I really like the idea that you can basically play in any order you want. I mean, um, once you kind of look at that, too, you kind of get a, a grand scheme of the official timeline. Like, nothing overwrites each other. You can clearly see where the other people have gone through it. I mean, overall, if, when I think about it, I mean, it's probably a good solid, like, 7.5 to 8 game, depending on how well you like the Alien vs. Predator universe and story. Um, most reviewers now are kind of giving it the average rating. Uh, I think Game Player is what they give it. They gave it uh, a 7.7. .7. So, I mean, I do 7.5 just because my grading scale is different. So, good game. Not bad. Not great. Um, but a good little game. Um, other than that, what else we got here? Uh, Xbox Live. Uh, basically everybody's offline because, you know, it's 2 a.m. and nobody's really playing. Um, uh, a bunch of us on, we're on early playing the Modern Warfare 2. I was also doing that uh, cage match, kind of doing a little boosting here and there, just kind of uh, basically get my levels up. And I was able to actually prestige tonight for the fourth time. So now I'm back to level one and uh, basically starting all over again. You know, this is my fifth run going through and there's ten. So luckily with the cage match thing, I can actually constantly work towards it. Um, and one interesting thing I noticed that a lot of people in the game, we all hate the tac knifers. The people that run around real quick and stab people, it just doesn't make sense in the shooter world. But uh, I just realized when I was level one, I just picked a random class and realized one of the beginning classes that you always has is actually a tac knife class. And uh, that's the first time I actually ever ran with one. And by just doing it in the first match, I got like an absurd amount of kills, which normally, if everybody knows how I play, I usually don't get any kills. My kills are usually half of my deaths. Um, that's not to say I don't kill a lot of things, it's just usually I'll go a match 15 kills to my 10, 20 deaths. I'm usually the one that dies the most out of my team, but I don't care. I just like, you know, getting the kills, and a lot of my teammates don't like it that much. But anyway, the attack knifer, I was surprised at how easy it was just to kill people and run around, and they really need to work on that. But now, unfortunately, I think I find a new uh, revenue, a new avenue for me to kind of pursue of just doing that every now and then when I get kind of bored in a match, just switch over to that class and run rampant. Or at least run rampant against if the other team, because we've gone against teams that all everybody uses that, and it's just kind of annoying. So now I kind of have don't have to worry about actually making a class for the attack knife, or you can just run with it. But I mean, uh, other than that, I mean, really not doing too much. Kind of just waiting for heavy rain to come in. Um, they did get basically uh, the game I sent back before, and I'm sending back Alien vs Predator today, and debating on putting another game in there. Thinking about the Dynasty Warriors game, the new one that came out that has the the co-op online. Debating on putting that out, but I'm gonna wait. For them to ship heavy rain first because I don't want to miss out on that. But uh, other than that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching as always and I'll catch you next time.